Okay, so hey everyone, it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, sorry about that, I've been pretty busy with stuff. Um, also, I'm gonna need to stabilize this video probably. So, I am in Boston. And I'm in Boston because I won this competition from IBM. And they like paid my flight, my hotel, and it was pretty magical. I hope you can hear me over everything. Um, but yeah, so this is gonna be like a combination video of stuff I wanted to do. So like, before I left, I made a video about the GANS 356X. And I have one in my bag. Um, I'm holding my laptop right now, so I can't like take it out. But um, I did an average with it, I did a bunch of things, and I have a lot to say. And it's pretty close to release. I got it like two, three weeks ago when I visited the office. Um, but all in all, it's a pretty good cube. If that's all you wanted to hear, you can close the video now. So now I'm going to talk about my opinions and stuff. So if you remember the 354, this is something Damien showed me at the office, and that's how like the corner pieces are actually bigger than the edge pieces, and you can actually feel it subconsciously sometimes, but it's there. The 356X is not like that. So like all the pieces, they're proportional, and it feels more cubic. Uh, I really like the feeling. Like it's smooth, it's fast, sometimes too fast. And mine was set up by Phil, so it had yellow nuts and everything else. It was pretty good. It was a good cube. Um, now, I'm going to start talking about opinions and stuff. And one of my opinions is, like, I think GANS is doing a huge amount of incremental innovation, but a lot of cubes, they've stagnated. Like, if we look at the past few releases for the past two years, the best GE cube is still the Vault 3. Like, that's my opinion, and I stand pretty strongly by it. I don't like, like, I lock up a lot on the power, I don't like the feeling of the power, even though it's like just small differences. The next thing is like, I still prefer the GTS2. Uh, actually, if we that's like flagships. If we consider like all cubes, I still get the best times on the MF3 RS2. And my worn out one from two years ago is still like one of my best cubes, the one that Mikey made for me. Um, and if we look at like GANs, each one of their flagships is definitely better than the last, like, no doubt. Like, ever since the OG 356S, 356, then 356S, then the Air, then the SM, then... I feel like I missed one. The UM, the UM. So the UM, the SM, 354, 356X. Each, each increment was definitely better than the last. And I think GANS was one of the ones, the first ones, that had like that really nice, no center stalk, thin edge, everything interlocks. They had that original design and it was brilliant. That was what started cubes being really, really good back in like 2015. But ever since then, every improvement has been really incremental. And honestly, I kind of wish it wasn't. I'm, I think a lot of people are looking forward to the next big thing. like. Other than like magnets, that thing that Gans did I just mentioned, it's going to take something big to make the next big cube. Um, that's just an opinion. The next thing is more factual. So this has like no bearing whatsoever on performance per se. Um, but if we look at the facets and how many bezels, chamfers, fillets are in the 356X compared to every other cube on the market, Gans cubes like looking at their past few releases is with the honeycomb they have more facelets and more polygons than any other puzzle not to say that that necessarily makes the cube better but it just goes to show you that the engineering behind gans cubes the tolerances the plastics the molds the caps i'm going to get into the caps in a little bit it is so finely tuned that i have to respect the ends for it that being said, I still prefer the MF3 RS2 because I get better times. The feeling and the quality of the GANS 356X is, it's definitely up there. There's a reason the prices are high. So I mentioned the caps. The caps are different than on the 354. Like on the 354, they didn't extend out to the edges, but on the 356X, you can actually see them. Like there are little holes in the edges and the caps actually protrude through. And in the centers, the caps have like two little wings and I haven't seen a cap with wings since like the ancient alpha cubes but GANS does it really well 
and you can take them off from every angle. Like back in the old days, the Alpha Cube, you had to have like a special tool. Um, the Gans caps, they're, I feel like those are what it should be because the old approach was just having your mold tolerances set so perfectly tight that the cap was good, but that can wear off over time. The new Gans caps, they're made to last. Um, whether or not people ever use the cube to the fullest extent of its lifetime is debatable, but it's a nice feature. The colors on the stickerless are wonderful. The cube, it performs marvelously, except for me, there was a bit of a learning curve. So I just, I can't control this cube. It's fast and on certain moves it locks up. I had to get used to it for about two weeks before I could get even close to my normal average. Like, but with my MF3RS, I was just so used to it, I could pull off high 10 averages easy. But I couldn't do that with the 356X for like two weeks just to get used to it. Um, but honestly, if you get used to it, it's a solid cube. Um, that might not go for everyone. But that being said, I highly recommend it. And the last thing I'm going to say about that cube is the little caps. Well, maybe I'll say two things. The spring on the caps has a wider, so cap screws, okay, so springs, they're dictated by a bunch of things. Hooks constant, the pitch, and the radius. And the new GAN springs have a bigger, have a longer pitch, that's a distance from one coil to the next, and they have a bigger radius. And that means they have more force per vertical space. And one of the things that bummed out, bummed me out a little bit is like, oh, that's the end of the line. That bummed me out a little bit is there was a teaser for caps that lock in to the core, like the little octa core that Gans has. And that wasn't released with the 356X, but once that's released, it will like have perfect tensions every time. Um, and it was teased on Instagram, but it's a shame that like, that wasn't in the cube, which means it's probably really gonna come in future cubes. Um, and I really like the nuts of the GANS cubes because you can always repurpose those springs. Because personally, my personal opinion, again, is GANS has the best springs. Um, so that's it for the 356. Now I'm gonna start talking about life advice. So I'm here in Boston because I love computers and I love challenges and technical things, and I just chased my passions. And holy crap, guys, they spent like $1,000 on me minimum. They spent like at least half a million dollars on this challenge, and it's been, it's been incredible. My hotel was over the Charles River. I got free flights. It was pretty amazing. And the reason is there's no reason anyone else could have done this, because a lot of people, they, they go to school and they think that just by doing bare minimum or even just going to class and doing classes is enough. Maybe in some subjects, but in computers, that's, that's not even barely true at all, even like 5%. And it reminds me of something from Nationals. So like, if you've seen me around, sometimes I wear this white jacket, but it's like a prototype white jacket. It's like one of the first white jackets ever made from Cubicle. Um, and they look different from the normal ones. Um, this is also different from the white hoodie from Colin Burns, who only has one. Very rare collectibles. Um, but you'll notice on the back of it, it says Lynn. And that's not for a Brandon Lynn, that's for Edward Lynn. And Edward Lynn is my hero, guys. And he taught me some deep wisdom. This guy is a multi-millionaire, dropped out of college to play poker, and he's killing it in life. And he gave me like so much life wisdom that it really changed the way I look at life. And he said something that was completely different from what I say. And I say, stay in school, kids. He says, school is poison. And I was just like, but school is important, right? But I'm in my senior year right now, and I finish up in a few months. Like, that's really crazy. I'm finishing a four-year degree in two years, and, like, this is my senior year. I stopped programming in my senior year, 
And that's really weird because as a computer science major, you would think that you would do more programming in your senior year. And it really frustrated me because my school is, has not taught me a single, well, actually they taught me like one thing. They haven't taught me a bulk of important computer concepts that actually would have helped me and everything I've learned was a direct result of what I did from work. It's like I do some computer stuff, mostly secret projects for work. And that's intensely frustrating that this paper didn't really help. It might make me look good on my resume, but it didn't actually do anything. And it made me realize if you really want to do something, you have to love it and do it in your spare time. You have to do projects. You have to make that thing your personality. And cubers, they do this at will. Like, you'll cube in your spare time and you'll do it and you'll chase it. But, like, to be successful in life, you have to choose and chase those things independently. You can't have someone tell you what to do. You have to take the initiative and do it yourself. In computers, you have to do these projects. You have to do, you have to learn coding for yourself. School doesn't teach you good practices. It doesn't teach you the best ways to code, it barely teaches you the basics. Like, I remember taking Python class and doing Python and all that stuff, and there are so many incredible advanced tricks that you simply don't learn in school, like abusing the difference between a shallow and a deep copy to make the computer use a fraction of the memory, um, slicing things, indexes, advanced list tools, um, special modules. All these things they don't teach you in school. Well, unless you go to a really, really good school. And that's that. Basically, to be successful, especially in the world of computers, school's not enough. You have to have passion and drive. Uh, the next life, little bit of life advice is, I've, I've noticed a lot of people who are really unhappy with life. Especially in my age, you start to see people from high school like get older and progress in life. And I've seen lots of happy and miserable people. And like, the thing is, the happiest people I know, they don't care about anyone else. Like, who cares about anyone else's opinion, if, especially if you never see that person again in your life? And the most miserable people, the least successful people I know, they care so much about people's opinion. And it's like, a person's opinion of you has no bearing or influence and it sh it shouldn't on your life like you should be able to give yourself meaning and it's easier said than done but like right now I'm talking to my computer in public in a crowded airport I don't care but like why should someone else's opinion of you dictate how you feel it should never dictate that just do you and do whatever you want rules as long as you're not hurting people, rules don't matter. Rules only hold back the meek and the mild. Rules are stupid, and the instant that you realize that, a lot of things become possible for you. Because you should always think ahead of things, put effort, and have drive, and not let people hold you back, especially not their opinions of you. Um, so that's life advice number two. So that should be it for now. Um, so I was at Cubicle recently, there are a few projects, most of which are secret, so I can't talk about them. And these secret projects are going to, like, book up my time for the next few months. So, um, I'll probably have, like, dumb videos, maybe some reviews. But that should be it. So, uh, GANS 256X is a good cube. And have passion, kids. And uh, don't care about what people think about you. That should be it for today. See you all in the next video.